welcome back everyone, Toysha's here, and I am back yet again for yet another early look at an upcoming San Diego Comic-Con 2024 exclusive, and today it comes courtesy of my friends over at NECA Toys from the 1980s sci-fi classic Flash Gordon. We have this exclusive deluxe set featuring the Wood Beast Challenge. And I'm being 100% honest with you and saying I am not the guy to go to for Flash Gordon, but I watched this scene, and yeah, it's pretty terrifying. There's a Muppet in there. You get, you get it. It's, it's a whole lot of bat poop craziness, but there's quite a bit in the box. There's a giant tree with a monster in it. As a heads up to all you future STCC goers who want to pick up this set, if I can give you any piece of advice from all my years of walking around Comic-Con, you want to be hands-free. You don't want to be walking around with bags or anything to be cumbersome to you. You want a, a brisk walk. You want to be able to explore. This box is huge. It's about four NECA Toys STCC figures wide. So if you have a hotel room or if you have a car in the parking garage, if you're going to grab it early, make sure it goes into one of those spots because you want a hands-free experience for STCC. Or else, better yet, just wait till the end of the day. Maybe you're out and you're going to go check out Filippi's Pizza or Not Not Taco, something like that. But you get the idea. Don't wait. Don't, don't carry it around all day. The actual box itself has beautiful photography of all the figures and the tree stump monsters and everything else you're about to enjoy. You can read up on Flash Gordon if you'd like. But yeah, you get the general idea. It's a test of bravery and this thing is going to kill you if it stinks. You pick the wrong hole. Here's everything inside this box and here's everyone involved with the creation of this figure. So as always, thank you very much for that. Here's the barcode. Not going to need it. As I've said, every single video so far of these NECA toys exclusives, but you can grab it on the con floor at the NECA booth during Comic-Con, or if you're sitting Comic-Con out this year, you can head to the store.com and pick it up during their pre-sale of June 26th through the 28th. So I would say you should be good to go. If you're a Flash Gordon fan, it's probably right up your alley. But in the meantime, this is going to be an absolute blast. So sit back, relax, grab yourself a nice hot cup of coffee. This is an early look at the brand new STCC 2024 exclusive Flash Gordon during his Wood Beast Challenge Deluxe Action Figure Box Set by NECA Toys. So if you're still here after all of that, here's everything taken out of the packaging. You get a giant accessory, you get a figure, you get a couple swoop swap out pieces and a eyeball scorpion monster, but he does come with a pair of extra fisted hands. They're nicely done. It's just a pair of fisted hands, not too shabby, along with two extra head portraits of which, help me out here. You're looking at these, I see the subtle differences, but I think the one from the box, the more like, yeah, I just stuck my hand in a tree stump with a potential monster in there, would have been more suited for this set because they look the same. You also have a sword. It's got eyes and horns. The hilt is black and gold. You got a silver blade to it. Nicely done, nicely painted. You also get a whip. I don't know why you're saying whip so weird, but you have a long string on the whip part, which is again, painted nicely so you can whip your enemies into submission, and yes, thank God, Flash Gordon has extra hands, of which if you just don't want the fisted hands, you got the item holding hands. But truth be told, I think for a lot of you Flash Gordon fans, this will be the main event, and I know some of you are salivating out there wishing that this was in fact a popcorn bucket. <laughs> but you get the idea, it's a giant tree stump, there's multiple holes all over it, and it's got a flat back so you can place it against your shelf for easy displayability options. But it is equally as terrifying. It's kind of like an action figure representation of trypophobia, right? You can put your finger in there, I guess, if you just do it. No, my God, but it's really awesome in that you can actually put things in there <laughs> if you want. I mean, like creatures or things that you could kind of pop out, something like that, get your minds out of the gutter. But yes, that would be my face that Flash Gordon has when anybody said, hey, there's like this monster in here that'll kill you with a sting, but just pick a hole and put your arm into it. Thankfully though, uh, there was no monster in mine, mine was filled with M&Ms. However, that being said, the monster itself comes with this set and it's just the wood beast monster, and it's quite terrifying. It's like something out of alien movies, kind of xenomorphy face huggery. It's got the interesting bottom to it. It looks very wet. 
It's gross. It's disgusting. It's got a little bit of articulation in the tail, mostly side to side. I don't think it goes back. If it goes back, I feel like I'm forcing it. Be very careful with it. I'm just gonna say side to side, most definitely, but it's really well done. The paint brings this thing to life. So again, for me, if somebody said, hey, stick your hand in this hole and don't get stung, I'm gonna pull my sword out. And not only that, but I am literally gonna stab every single hole in this wood tree thing until that thing is dead. <laughs> And truth be told, I wouldn't just stop there. I would literally get fire and burn this thing to the ground to get rid of that spider scorpion eyeball monster. But if you were wondering, how does this Flash Gordon square up next to other NECA toys offerings like the Phantom or Batman? He's a little bit too tall, a little bit more proportionally different than some of the other figures. So it's kind of their own thing. But the tree beast monster is very Star Wars to me, so maybe you don't like Flash Gordon, but maybe you want it for a Star Wars display. I could definitely see that. And if you have missed the other ones, we've taken a look at all these other NECA Toys STCC exclusives thus far. Again, falling into that realm this year of this Flash Gordon being not too detrimental to your collection, being very poignant. I hear a lot of people who Love Flash Gordon, specifically talking about this scene, scared them as a child. So if you're at Comic-Con and you see the NECA Toys booth, yeah, you might want to grab it. It might be right up your alley. So that will wrap it up for my early look at the brand new San Diego Comic-Con 2024 exclusive Flash Gordon and the challenge of the Wood Beast monster scorpion spider. God, it's awful, but oh so cool. It's terrifying, but... The way that Nega Toys makes fun terrifying. So again, if you want it, pre-sale June 26th to the 28th on the nextdoor.com, or if you're at Comic-Con, you can stop by their booth and grab it. So you've heard my thoughts. Now I'm curious to know yours. Comment below, let me know. Let's talk everything Flash Gordon. And I'm gonna leave you guys with that. As always, drink some great coffee, eat some great food, but most important, remember, and as I've said, as I'm not a Flash Gordon fan, I have a really good friend who is, so, you know who you are. Expect a package coming very soon. When they do, let me know what you found. I'll talk to you guys soon. Adios.